A curved or phased array transducer with an OB exam type is used to perform a transabdominal examination of an intrauterine pregnancy to determine fetal weight and age by measuring biparietal diameter, head and abdominal circumference, and femur length. It is helpful for the patients to have a full bladder to complete this examination. The transducer is placed in a longitudinal orientation in the midline at the level of the symphysis pubis. The orientation marker is directed toward the patient's head. The transducer is angled below the pubic synthesis into the pelvis to visualize the bladder that appears as a hypoechoic triangular structure. The transducer is then rotated to a transverse orientation with the orientation marker directed to the patient's right to perform a systematic fetal survey to identify the fetal structures. After identifying the fetal head, the transducer is moved to obtain a cross-section of the fetal skull at the level where the falx cerebri is midline, the thalami is symmetrically positioned on either side of the falx, and the cavum septum pellucidum is seen in the distal third of the fronto-occipital diameter, giving you an oval, symmetrically positioned skull. The biparietal diameter is measured at the greatest width of the fetal head in an ear-to-ear -ear fashion by placing the calipers from the outer edge of the proximal parietal bone to the inner edge of the distal parietal bone. From this scan plane, a head's circumference can be measured by placing the distal caliper to the outer edge of the distal skull and employing the ellipse feature around the outside of the skull bone echoes to approximate the shape of the skull. The transducer is then slid along the transverse fetal spine to identify the fetal abdomen at its greatest width at the level of the transverse abdominal triad. Here, the hypoechoic fluid-filled stomach is seen on the left side of the abdomen. The hypoechoic umbilical vein and the left portal vein meet within the liver on the right, and the three hyperechoic bones of the transverse spine are seen within the same axial plane. The abdominal circumference measurement is measured in late pregnancy to reflect fetal size and weight rather than age and is done by placing calipers on the outer skin surface of the circular abdomen and employing the ellipse measurement feature. The femur length measurements are performed by sliding the transducer caudally along the fetal spine and pelvis and then angling off to image the hyperechoic diaphysis of the femur longitudinally. By placing the most anterior femur horizontal to the ultrasound beam, the calipers should be placed at the ends of the bony diaphysis and exclude the greater trochanter, the distal femoral epiphysis, or any triangular spur artifacts that can falsely increase femur length measurements.